So I'm going to go through how to determine when to backwash uh, commercial swimming pool filters. What you'll see on most of them are a couple of pressure gauges. One of them is measuring pressure on the uh, inlet to the filter and the other one is measuring pressure on the outlet of the filter. Now what happens is water is coming in here from the pumps and it's being basically pushed in to that filter and it comes across and it's being pushed into that filter obviously under it's under pressure because the pumps are providing that pressure to push the water through um, on a cross section um, it comes in here and actually the water gets directed upwards it hits the underside of the top of the filter or a diffuser plate and it kind of distributes the water over the entire surface area of the filter and it pushes it through um, because there's a this there's a bed of sand inside the filter um, 800 millimeters at least 800 millimeters depth um, so that so the sand is going to be uh, the water sorry is going to be under pressure and when the water hits that sand bed the pressure is going to increase because the bed of sand is not so easy to get through the, the pumps are having to work to push the water through it's a little bit like if you visualize making coffee in a French press the more coffee that you put in there then the harder you're going to have to push on that plunger you can push it you can push it through you can push the water through the coffee but the more compacted the coffee is um, the harder you're going to have to push if that analogy makes sense and so that's what these pressure gauges are, are reading and if I show you again this one you can see that the inlet pressure is one, one bar uh, the outlet pressure is 0 0.8 bar okay so why is there a difference between the inlet pressure and the outlet pressure well the reason for that is because when the water is coming through here and out here it's got this big block of sand in the middle when as because the water has to be pushed through there's going to be an increase in pressure at the top but once it's once the water has moved through the sand bed then there's not going to be as much pressure at that point because there's there's less resistance to flow at the outlet than there is on the inlet now what happens over time as the filter does its job is the sand bed becomes more and more uh, saturated with pollution from the swimming pool so uh, on a close-up view of the sand grains what's happening is there is a build-up of pollution happening uh, which to a certain extent is a good thing because it serves to narrow the size of the gaps between the sand grains through which water is being pushed so the narrower the gaps between the sand grains are the uh, you know, the smaller particles the filters are able to sort of trap if you like and that process is you know it continues over time that you know the more water goes through the more stuff there is that's collected so that's going to be having an effect on the pressure because the the sand bed effectively you know as it as it's becoming even even more and even more and even more blocked not blocked but it's getting that way you know it's it's moving towards that state uh, so the inlet pressure is going to increase over time 
So what's going to happen is is this inlet pressure of, of 1, the day after, could have increased to 1.1 because the, 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 the needle is going to move that way in line with how much pollution is retained in that sand bed, whilst at the same time the outlet pressure will move in that direction. So a, a pressure differential is going to open up. So at the moment, the pressure differential is uh, 0 0.2, uh, which is all well and good. But if you left that filter alone for a couple of days, you might get a pressure differential opening up. Um, so, for example, if the uh, if the inlet became sort of 1.2, for example, and the uh, the outlet dropped to 0.7, for example, then we're dealing now with a pressure differential of 0 0.5. And so this pressure differential can be used as an indicator of when the filter needs to be backwashed. Generally, you want to backwash a filter on a commercial swimming pool when the pressure differential between the inlet and the outlet reaches something in the region of 0.4 or 0.5 but having said that because there are so many different types of filter so many di different types of filter manufacturer you do need to go by what the manufacturer's recommendations are uh, but a general ballpark figure is for commercial swimming pool filters is to backwash when the pressure differential gets to within 0 0.4 0 0.5 range